today is gonna be a fun day. Time for classes again. It is Tuesday, 8.04 a.m. It's gonna be a good week. After intro to visual storytelling this morning, I have ultimate frisbee, and then later I need to meet up with Patrick. So not too much going on today, but it should still be a fun day. Heading to Ultimate Frisbee now, it's 9.48, and I'll be right there. Welcome back, guys. All right, so we're about to head out to dinner, but uh, Jack over here is just... I'm struggling, man. He is take, he's taking a while, ladies and late ladies and, and not ladies, but the point is we're hungry. I'm exhausted. It was a busy weekend. I didn't have too many classes today, but I literally fell asleep right in the middle of my screening. This is college. You just get tired for no reason. Don't you guys agree? Yeah. Hey, great insight, Justin. All right, so we'll see you guys at dinner. Whoa. Yes, yeah, so we're going to dinner. Like always, I am covered in lint. You probably can't see it there. It is literally killing me. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to my table real quick. Hey, guys. Justin, what's that sound? <laughs> no, it's Koi gone now. Hey, look who it is. Yeah, they got burgers. Did nobody tell you? Come, I'll show you where the burgers are. Oh, guy, you got a <laughs> They're going to find burgers. Justin loves burgers. And sushi. Okay, so the conversation going on right now is, should you read a book before the movie? Hulu, explain your, um, oh, explain. Yeah. Black and white. Yeah, so, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, Justin. I was just using drink. Wow. So, you have a girl, beautiful girl, very, you know, healthy for you, the awesome one, you know, the one that you take home to your parents. And there's a cousin, right? You know, the wild one, makes you all bubbly on the inside. And so, you know, one is definitely great. And so is the other one. But if you try to be with both of them, it's just gonna ruin it. Like, you're always gonna be comparing the two. And even if you make a decision, you'll know. You'll know that there was the other door. You could have taken the good girl home. You could have been happy. But no, you had to try for both. And now you've ruined yourself. You can't come back from that. So how does that correlate to the book and movie? Because you can, if you read the book, if you know that there's the happiness, there's a long, healthy relationship out there, that means that forevermore, you're gonna be comparing if you try to go with the wild one. That the life that could have been what's already there, what you knew was good. She'll never always be good enough. There's a couple exceptions with books and movies where that's not the case. Like Lord of the Rings, the books are just so boring. But it's so rare that it's, it's better just to not read the book usually and not ruin the movie for yourself. Okay, you know, to a certain extent, I agree with that because I watched the Lord of the Rings before I actually read the books. Um, love the movies, the books, books are, are boring. Like, it's not interesting. They don't, and they skip a lot of the action sequences, like the Helm's Deep whole thing. Like, yeah. most of that battle, he just like skips over. He's like, oh yeah, you know, the battle Yeah, happens. and then it happens. You know what Go. we don't see enough of in the movies? The slowest moving characters in the movie. Yeah, that's what we need. We need more Ents. Focus on the good stuff. I mean, that's what the movies do. They don't always do it successfully, though. So that was, um, so that's Hulu and Joey's takes on books versus movies. Justin, anything to add? I'm being cake. Get me cake. Smart man. <sighs> All right, we're heading back from dinner. I'm gonna go meet with my intro to visual storytelling partner. Justin, what are you up to? Just? <laughs> Joey, what are you up to? Well, I do have some homework that I procrastinated on all weekend, so probably gonna knock that out for the rest of the night. Is it technically called homework or is it dorm work? Dur These are the important questions. It is assignments that I have to do. <sighs> um, so I'm here with Patrick. We're talking through ideas. I'll have to talk to you guys about it later. But Patrick, you wanna say anything? Uh... Yeah, I am. It's gonna be a fun class. I'm All excited. Right. So am I. Peace. Alright, yeah, that's good. Okay, well I have class right now, and I don't know how much I'll be able to use this. Jess and I will catch up with you guys later. So 
so that was interesting. What do you think of that? It was all right. It was something. It's certainly going to be an interesting class. We just sold a lot of shows, pitched a lot of shows, and talked to network executives. What do you guys think of that? What did you guys think of the class today? Successful class. We killed the class. game as advertisers. Are you doing a transition? Ready? Ready? Transition Ready? shot. <laughs>On my way to Henley Hall for a film event. I have three minutes till this event starts. It's in the basement of Henley Hall. I'm very bad at this, I'm sorry. That was Brian Tyra, Joey's man crush. I have no clue what I want. I'm thinking Sprite. What are you getting? Sprite. Actually, I'm gonna go Coca-Cola. So I'm gonna head back to the dorm, see what Joey and Justin's up to, and uh, we'll see what's going on. Is that Joey? Let's find out. That is not Joey. Going to see what Justin's up to. Hola, Justin. Hello. Como estas? Estoy bien. You too? Yo estoy muy contento. Boy, does it get hot in Southern California. Also, I got a package earlier. Let's talk. All right. Wow, that is some good water. So that class was a lot of fun. That was prime time, the game of television. And basically what I just did was I sold two ideas that I had come up with. I pitched them to NBC and ABC Family. CBS was busy. It's all fake, all made up, but we're taking it seriously. So I pitched three ideas, but two of them were sold. NBC bought two of them, not one, but two. One of them was called Kanye's Quest, which was a TV show that follows Kanye all around the world. It's quite interesting. And the other one was Snoop Dogg, the PI, where he goes to different crime scenes. And if you know Snoop Dogg, you probably know what he's up to. If he's a private investigator, maybe he'll find some coke. So yeah, it was a really fun class. I enjoyed it. As soon as it was over, I rushed out of there to get to this film event, which technically this film event is still going on now, but I decided to come back here and edit, wake up early tomorrow morning, because I need some sleep. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going back and I'm changing every single episode title on YouTube to have the episode, so I'll have my title, and then a dash, episode number, whatever it is. So this is episode number 18. Just so it's more consistent, I had a good friend text me, kind of giving me some advice with that. So I decided to change that. Also, I'm gonna open this package right now. I have a feeling this is gonna be the batteries I ordered a while ago from Amazon. Ah, yes, it is those batteries. Eight of these nine volt batteries. Even though I literally just went to the Dollar Tree and got different batteries. I did ask for a refund on these, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do now, so I'm just hoping they give me a refund. Okay, everybody, okay. Justin is trying to convince me right now that this company's name, I'm displaying it right here. Justin's trying to convince me that it is pronounced, how do you say it? Qdoba. Qdoba. I'm saying it's Kadoba. We're gonna figure There's this out. No it's just Q, the letter Q, and then Doba. That's literally what the name is. Let's see what Hulu and Hunter think. I'm saying it's pronounced Kadoba. He's saying it's Qdoba. Qdoba? Oh, what is going on? It's Kadoba. Kadoba. It is Kadoba. I'm not losing on this. Alright, I will take the L for now until I get back to Pennsylvania where it's pronounced Kadoba. Comment below how you pronounce it. Well, that's all for today. I'm really glad class went well. It was definitely an enjoyable day, good start to the week. Tomorrow I have screenwriting class, and I think I might add a class later in the day, who knows. But thank you everybody for watching, and as always, be awesome. No cake. There's no cake. There's no cake.